just talk to them, say slow. When I see a camel in this landscape, I, I see a camel doing what people and camels have done together for centuries, whether it's in North Africa or the Middle East or Central Asia. Watch that Ocotillo, don't let it grab your arm. Desert cultures that have relied on camels uh, really just captivate my imagination. I grew up out here in West Texas, and the idea that I do this for a living may seem a little odd, but it seems real natural to me. There is no animal that says desert quite like the camel, but you'd be hard pressed to find any of those humpback beasts roaming the landscape of Big Bend Ranch State Park. That is, unless they're part of Doug Bomb's camel tours. Tension then release, nobody runs downhill. In a former career, I was a zookeeper. I took care of all kinds of animals, but camels were really the ones that captivated me. I was given a book about the U.S. Army use of camels in Texas in the 1850s, and I dreamed this up, and here I am a quarter of a century later still doing it. <laughs> Mounting up and dismounting on a camel, that's the adventure, right? They kneel down, they fold all their legs up under them like a Swiss Army knife, and when they stand up, it, it, it can feel a little bit like you're gonna be launched into space. Stand over, hold tight, lean back, and here we go. So, you know, I do my due diligence. I try to explain to folks, you know, land like a feather, hold on tight, we want you to lean back for this reason. But really, until you've done it for the first time, no one really understands what that's gonna feel like. Hold tight, lean back. Well, it's called Texas Camel Corps, a unique experience Doug has been leading for 25 years, where you can hop on and travel with what he considers to be vehicles of discovery. What you've got to love about Big Bend Ranch State Park, of course, it's not only the largest of the state parks in Texas, it's larger collectively than all of the others put together. I reckon being on the back of a camel is a lot better than walking. And the camel to me is more than a vehicle for transportation. To me, it's a vehicle for discovery, whether it's the environment and, and you look at the adaptations that camels have for surviving in an environment like this. Good boy. People and cultures in desert places around the world thrive. The camel to me is, is more than a, a literal vehicle, but it's more of a metaphorical vehicle for study and for discovery. Good, pump your brakes guys on this downhill. It's not every day that you peer out into the Chihuahuan Desert and spot a trail of camelback riders making their way through the untamed wilderness. But for Doug, there is nothing else he'd rather see. And he hopes that with every ride, people will fall as in love with camels as he has. On the trail and after the trek, as we're dismounting and folks are ready to, to grab their camping gear and head home, you get a 10. They are giving kisses to my camels. They're giving hugs to my camels. They're selfies with the camels. So when somebody leaves one of my treks and they go back home, I want them to say, the camels were sweet. They were like big dogs because that's what they are. Is this work for you? I like to tell folks I'm the laziest man I know. If this were work, I wouldn't do it. So it's gotta be fun. And honestly, I am at my absolute happiest when I'm walking out here in this landscape and I turn around and look back and I see a string of camels, a straight, tight line walking through this landscape. So I reckon as long as the body will let me do it, I'll keep doing it. Anytime you're on a downhill, just talk to him, say slow.